Kia ora whanau and welcome to another episode of Get a Job and Get Healthy with Costas Enterprises. I am your host as always, uh, Alex Costas from Costas Enterprises. Um, and today I'm going to be talking something that I've touched on a couple of times, um, and that is in regards to social media advertising, um, Facebook, and I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an idea of uh, how it went. Um, I basically paid for an ad this month, um, and I'm going to tell you basically the stats for uh, what happened to my site, did it result in any sales, and so forth, um, and also a little bit more about Redbubble advertising and, and what that's done for me as well. Um, so as always, uh, you feel free to give me a follow, um, my email is, and, and feel free to contact me via email as well, uh, my email as always is doncostas at gmail.com, that's D-O-N for Nike, C-O-S-T-A-S at gmail.com, um, if you want any questions, please feel free to hit me up, um, if you also want to know anything more about what I'm going through, um, then please feel free to contact me. Um, you can find my website on costasenterprises.business.blog. Uh, that is my my blog website. I know I don't post a lot on the blog, but uh, this is where you can find this podcast, for example, uh, as well as other things that I have currently done uh, on my designs. I am going to try and upload a bit more. I've just been a little bit busy with other things, unfortunately, so I haven't had a chance to write, um, given my normal position uh, with my job as well. So we're going to get right into the podcast, and quite simply, I'm going to tell you about my experience with Facebook advertising. Now, this is the fourth time that I've done Facebook advertising um, for my print-on-demand. However, this is the first time I'm doing it for Redbubble. Now, I will admit that I kind of, and I kind of touched on this previously in one of my other podcast episodes, is I kind of screwed up when I was generating my new ad for the Red Bubble. Um, I basically set it so that it was um, the if people wanted to, they could message me, uh, and I got no messages. So automatically, you'd think, oh, that that's a fail, but actually it wasn't that much of a fail um in fact i can tell you right now i definitely saw an increase in my social media um from people clicking the link and i can see thanks to google analytics that those clicks were coming from facebook um and things like with the ads that i'd set up i'd done uh facebook advertising for 60 dollars new zealand Um, which isn't very much, and I targeted the US uh, because when I make my designs, I know that most of the population um, that use Redbubble are usually in the US, so I try to target my designs um, so that, you know, anybody can use them from anywhere in the world, uh, but primarily when I'm doing Facebook advertising, at the moment I've only actually tried uh, New Zealand where I got nothing, uh, Australia where I got nothing, and also, um, I, I tried US two times. So uh, the second time was definitely a lot. I, I definitely saw a lot more traffic moved to my website uh, as opposed to the other times when I asked um, users and uh, customers to actually come to my website. Um, so yeah, I, I I may have kind of screwed up when I originally created the ad, but I definitely do think it was a good idea for me. Uh, just to gauge exactly what the difference is. Um, So what I thought we'd do is I I would sort of explain what my, um, uh, what the traffic was as of right now, and this is as of um, right now. Um, So, so far this month, um, from the very first, uh, I had a total of 89 viewers, um, and uh, that has come from 19 from Redbubble directly. So that means that people, uh, while searching Redbubble, have found something due to my tags. Uh, 11 were organic. Now that was like, uh, I, I can tell right now, two of those were myself when I bought stuff for myself. Uh, but the other, the other nine, I don't know who they are. Uh, six were direct. So I'm not exactly sure... Um, 
how the direct has worked i think it's it's possibly been a direct link from maybe um one of my other links um and then 53 have come from social media um that has been pretty surprising actually um given that as i said this is the first time that i have done advertising on social media through facebook advertising for this actual website usually i do my i I used to do my teespring and i saw sort of like the most i'd ever seen at one time was i believe i got up to um i think it was like 60 views in a month uh, which was pretty pathetic but i was i was happy and i was shocked um so 53 just from social media taking me to 89 views total means I'm obviously doing something right. Now, some of those uh, direct ones as well, I've just realized, will also be the... uh, probably from the uh, YouTube shout-out that I got um, with my Redbubble shop review um, by The Money Game, uh, which I've talked about in a previous episode, uh, where luckily my shop was reviewed, and I took on everything that that Phil um, from The Money Game had suggested and applied that to my shop straight away so that's been quite cool um and yeah so i'm pretty happy with the the uh the 60 dollars investment um to get 53 people that's almost it's i know it's almost um close to 10 dollars a for a set of 10 viewers so a dollar a viewer almost um but at the same time, I am very, very shocked with what I've got compared to, um, for example, the the highest month after that that I had um, was in November, just before Christmas, where I had, um, let me just double check this exactly. So before that, I had 51 uh, uh viewers in november um and out of those only seven came from social media uh whereas 22 were organic um which i thought was quite cool but this time with the social media just taking over was pretty amazing um and given that i have actually only started this red bubble shop in sort of july i think it's a pretty good uh, increase and in july i only had six direct views um two from social media in august and so yeah it's nice to see the graph going up as opposed to down um of of viewers and it could be just that there's a lot more people locked up uh and in lockdown so they're surfing a lot more um uh, but it is nice to see that you know the the money that i spent even though i didn't see any official link clicks or message calls um in regards to my shop which was what originally facebook had offered um i did see people going to my shop because of that uh now on that i do want to quickly quickly discuss um what i have seen uh the the last day or two so today i was scrolling facebook myself um as we all do and because i talk about redbubble and obviously facebook listens um, Redbubble came up in my actual uh, news feed and uh, this has happened quite a few times and one time before I saw one of my designs and I was like is that my design I think that's my design um, and the design uh, has actually sold uh, something which was very surprising and it was the uh, design I called two meters apart now if you go onto my Instagram you can follow me at uh, the Kiwi Don uh, all together in lowercase uh so that's t-h-e-k-i-w-i and d-o-n um you will see that um uh, i've just uploaded a whole lot of images of what it is that you actually see when you see the red bubble thing um and so the first one i saw was two meters apart and i was like is that my design i clicked on it and sure enough i got to my shop and i was like oh my god that's so cool uh really weird because i was not expecting that design to be sold or anything like that um and granted it was only a sticker um so there was only about 50 cents um but hey in this game print on demand anything is anything um and i'm just really appreciative uh of someone buying my designs and using them uh so that was a really really cool uh thing to see and that was about 
Someone bought that design about four days ago. Um, uh, yeah, about four days ago. And then, so yeah, I, I was very, very shocked to see that. And then today, while I was scrolling, as I said, I actually saw one of my new designs out of one of the ones that I actually really like. Uh, and that popped up in a Redbubble ad as well. Uh, and the design itself was the one of my When You Grow Up um, uh, things. So I talked about last week how I created a whole lot of collections. Uh, and one of them was the When I Grow Up I Want To Be, such and such and such. Uh, and this particular one was the When I Grow Up I Want To Be A DJ. Uh, which is one that I spent a little bit longer on because I did think it was quite a cool design that I'd made. Um, for example, the dot dot dot... Um, was replaced by a music sound wave uh, and there's a DJ scratching uh, in the same colors on it. So it's kind of a simple design, but at the same time, I, I really liked it. Um, and I was very, very shocked to see that um, pop up in the red bubble in the very, very first slot as well. So that's two times that it's popped up in the very first slot. Now, I don't know if Facebook and Redbubble have some secret thing where, you know, if you promote your site on, web, uh, on websites that they automatically put your facebook ad um you know you see your design and no one else sees your design but at the very least it was very very cool to see Redbubble promoting one of my designs I'm, i am not a featured artist okay i'm not nothing like that um you know uh, to, to me it was very very cool just to see something different um as for the way of designs itself, I I have been ramping up. Um, in fact, I've uh, just finished uploading some designs recently, uh, and I plan to upload some more after I've done this podcast. Uh, and what I'm trying to focus on now is um, more patterns. Uh, the reason I say that is um, uh, when a design comes to me, I think about it, think about it. And so... Um, when this particular, uh, I was scrolling through some stuff on Canva, which I've talked about, which is what I use to make my designs. Um, and it was a very, very easy thing to look at. And I was like, oh, that's quite cool. That would be a cool pattern. Um, and the cool advantage of patterns is, of course, once you um, create the pattern, um, it can be applied to things like leggings and T-shirts. And it looks very, very cool. Uh, and you can adjust the size and all that sort of thing. So, um yeah, I, I was quite uh, happy with what I was seeing. So I, I generated about 20 designs um, just off patterns uh, as stickers and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I currently have, I'm just going to quickly um, jump into my actual shop. Um, I said by the end of this week, I wanted to be close to uh, 150 designs. I'm currently at 147 designs. Um, and now of course that is including the 19 photos that I've got up there, which I always said I didn't want to include. So by the end of today, I want to upgrade that so that I've actually got, um, my new patterns up there as well. Um, but what I have got is last night, um, someone actually bought a, another of my designs. And this is a very old design that I created, uh, based on Kiwi, Kiwi slang. And it's called Yeah Nah. Um, and if you know Kiwis, um, some of them be like, oh, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. And that's exactly how you use the phrase is, is, do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah. And it's kind of a way of saying yes, but no. Um, or in some instances, it's actually, it's a Kiwis way of saying no. Yeah, nah, n nah. Um, so this particular one, I made this design with, it was one of the first designs I ever made. Um, and so to see that cell was really cool. Um, still, um, I have almost cracked the $20 threshold uh, that that uh, red bubble will pay you out on. Um, I'm currently sitting on like close to $15.99. Uh, now, granted, they did pay me out the $15 that I had before. So at the moment, it's sitting at $0.99. Cents, uh, and then very shortly it'll go up to $2.69 oh sorry they paid me out sorry I tell a lie they paid me $13 um, uh, which was a nice little milkshake uh, um, and then since then I've, I've jumped up about $2, $4 and so uh, last night um, at about 7 o'clock I got a nice little email say that someone bought my year nah um, which gives me a profit of about 
about $2.60 um, Australian. So those will go through. Um, uh, now, when you hit the $20 threshold, Redbubble pays that into your account on the 15th of every month. Uh, now, even though my earnings says 15, that is from the January 30th, 2020 to January 28th, 2021. So uh, anything that needs to still be paid will be shown later. Um, and I'm going to be tri quite transparent. Um, so even though I said I started my business in July on Redbubble, um, I did not get any sales till September. And even then, that was $1.36. Um, my biggest month was December, where I only sold $6, or I made a profit of $6.46. So, you know, this is a long game sort of thing. Um, uh, earnings to be paid, I currently have $2.69 to be paid. Um, uh, and then an extra $2.62, uh, which once the order is made and shipped, then that will be paid. Uh, currently, I've been paid on the 14th of December, $13.30 US, uh, which is a nice little change because that works out to be about 20 bucks New Zealand, um, possibly a little bit more. So yeah, it's very, very cool. Uh, overall, I'm sitting at 12 sales. Uh, my favorites has jumped quite considerably over the last couple of days. Um, I'm sitting at 36 favorites uh, and eight followers. So that's actually quite a few for the, the, the size that I'm doing. Um, I suspect the reason why is uh, one, I'm promoting my, my things a lot more. Uh, but also, I think the reason why I'm, I'm getting a few more sales like that is, uh, sorry, getting some more interest that way is uh, apparently... Redbubble has an issue where if you hit 100 designs, it starts promoting your stuff more. Um, so there's so many people that have sites which have like, you know, 19 or 49 designs. And for me, I was, I was literally earlier this month, I was sitting on 49 designs. Um, and that's when I got the motivation to just go, you know what, I'm going to push it. I'm going to try and do what I can, um, which is where I'm sitting at the moment. But yeah, on my Instagram, um, I have just posted some of the designs that I've just recently sold, um, as well as one of the designs that I've just created, which is the um, one of the ones that's currently trending, uh, and that is a trending design with a low market, um, which is the no fly zone one, or no fly list, sorry. Um, and then the other actual image I did there was the actual red bubble ad and me going oh my god I can't believe my design is there in a red bubble ad on Facebook which I didn't have to pay for um yeah it was, it was very very cool actually um I really really enjoyed it um another thing that I've started to do as well is in my designs every single design of mine um one of the one of the feedbacks that I got from Phil, uh, when he was doing reviewing my shop on on YouTube, uh, was he was saying make sure everything is optimized, and that was one of the tips that I gave you guys last week in the Red Bubble tips. Um, oh, sorry, a week ago. Um, so what I did with uh, what I also did was I took another YouTuber's comments, um, not about my shop, but just in general, uh, and that was tagging um putting my shop in the tags uh as well as also putting you know in each description i've got check out my shop for more designs just so that you're sort of self-promoting yourself upon your own products because most times when when customers will go to one of your sites they won't go go directly to your site they'll click on an image which will be you know whatever your design is and then go from there so uh, for me, it's sort of like um, I thought about it a bit more and was like, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to um, start promoting myself with this. Um, I also have a goal to try and post at least uh, two times a week uh, on my Instagram now with actually images and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm... Either, either designs that I've done, maybe ads that I'm thinking about creating through Placeit using mock-ups. Um, so yeah, it, it's been a been a bit of a ramp month for me. Um, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, I hope to continue to do this so that I hope in six months' time I'm sitting at you know close to six to seven hundred designs um, up there and. 
you know i i try not to do things like spam and all that sort of things but yeah i'm definitely trying my best to get up there um i'm surprised that i'm so close to 150 i actually thought i was a lot further off uh and i like the fact that by the end of this either today or tomorrow i will be not only over 150 but i'll be over the 150 including the 19 uh designs that i was talking about uh, one thing i am trying to focus on a bit more is creating more evergreen designs so um i've talked about before very briefly about evergreen design so i thought i'd try to touch on that very quickly um and uh, the difference between evergreen and a trend is evergreen is something that can make you money um any time of the year so for example i've been focusing a lot on valentine's days um and valentine's and all that sort of stuff so um while i haven't done one of the things that that phil has suggested in regards to greeting cards um i haven't set anything as a proper greeting card i have tried my best to look at other things um um but that is one of the things that i will start sort of probably looking at a little bit more as uh actual um greeting cards and uh hopefully taking them into effect and making them more you know focused around things like valentines and birthdays and all that sort of stuff um, and just sort of create that as a collection as well but yeah um very very happy with what what's been happening and what's been going on with me i, I would like to hear from you um if you want me to review your shop um um i'll also i want to say a very huge thank you to you guys for listening um i am about 20 listens away um or just under 20 listens away uh till i hit 600 listens which is completely shocking considering i was you know only celebrating my 500 listens just recently um about three episodes again ago um so you guys have been truly amazing but i do want to hear from you more uh, so feel free to contact me through fa social media, through Facebook, through Instagram. My Facebook is uh, Costless Enterprises uh, Designs, um, or you can contact me through my Instagram at the Kiwi Don, uh, all together, no hyphens, no nothing, uh, or on my email if you want a more personal approach, uh, doncostas at gmail dot com. Uh, that also goes for if you want to know more about the recruitment things maybe you're trying to apply for a job and you want some help uh, maybe with your cv or your cover letter um, I'm, I'm always willing to help people out so that they get the jobs that they want and now is the time when people start applying for jobs um, especially in new zealand we get closer to our february hike and you know it, there's a lot of jobs going at the moment and now's the time to start applying for them um for those of you that are overseas, um, I would love to hear if I'm doing things right for you. Um, one of the things I have just recently signed up for is, uh, actually, would you believe it or not, voice acting uh, and providing a voice to audiobooks. Um, I still need to complete my registration, but I did that through Fiverr. Uh, and I'll also probably list something in there in regards to actual uh, recruitment uh, advice. Uh, I plan to have that up and running in the next couple of months. Um, ideally, I would like to get a proper microphone and all that sort of stuff first before I do go into that um, and sort of soundproof a room if I can. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with what's been happening. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, and until next week, as always, I love you guys. Um, please keep in touch. Contact me. Hit me up. Anything you want to know, let me know. And uh, until next week, as always, good luck.